Well, what a matchup here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, officially, let me tell you, this is not a part of the BCW Women's Title Tournament. Originally, it was scheduled to be a triple threat match as part of the tournament, but both Lufisto and Kimberly earlier today went to BCW management and said, you know what? We want to take a step back. We want to let the young girls, the young stars, see what they got and keep an eye on that. Let us go to war. Let us have what will be a incredible one-on-one -on -one match and BCW management agreed and here tonight Lufisto versus Kimberly I mean these two women are going to go to war tonight I mean, either way this match is going to be a you know a huge top contenders match these are two of the best women's wrestlers in the world I did just two of the best wrestlers in the world like these girls are phenomenal well we see who the crowd has picked Beautiful side headlock takeover. These by two Lufisto. women, no strangers to each other, AJ. Oh, no, not at all. Nice head scissors takeover. Interesting, though, Kimberly with her gymnastics background and everything that she's done. I mean, this is a woman who did spend time, as you've said, in WWE NXT, um, now back on the independent circuit. I mean, Kimberly put on some work. I remember, and AJ, bring this back. Remember that time that ever thought, like, Kimberly almost died at Beyond Wrestling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kimberly has been in some wars. She has been. But look, at NXT's loss is our gain. You know, they, they, they missed, they, 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 I will definitely say they missed a boat with, you know, with Kimberly not keeping her on their, on to, their roster. But to uh, uh, echo some of our friends in uh, the UK, hey, are you watching? And speaking of are you watching, ladies and gentlemen, this match, Lufisto, Kimberly, all of Queen of the North, and from now on, all of BCW Wrestling will be available for the first time ever on the title match, Wrestling Network. Wow, so we have that, we have Fight TV. Powerbomb.tv recently, and happy to announce that GoPro Wrestling back as our primary video source here at BCW Wrestling. Talk about a way to go into 2019 and a way to come into what will soon be our third anniversary. This is going to be a huge year for BCW. And coming up, yeah, in March, uh, Three the Hard Way, our third anniversary show. It's going to be a fantastic lineup, I'm hearing. Now, Janelle, unfortunately, the Jabba Cheers podcast was not uh, with us during that time, but it's glad to have you there now. But, you know, Janelle, let me tell you, for a long whoa, time, there whoa. were many people who thought Wait, look, whoa. Did BCW that you wouldn't go past one year. Here we are, almost at three, cover. I think there are many, many more years to come for you guys. It's such a great company. It's such great talent. And AJ, you're right, that gymnastics background coming right into play for Kimberly. That was a, a thing of thing of beauty to see. I can't do that. I can't do that either. I don't think we're made to be able to do that. It doesn't split. No, no. That, no, I yeah. mean, one of you ever tried to split, I'm just going to have to walk away. <laughs> uh, I, I care too much about, um, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, the, yeah, can't damage the goods. No, no, no. <laughs> Lufisto may not like the cover here. One, two, a kick out. Lufisto may not like the number 10 after that, but I know a fellow Canadian of Lufisto's who loves the number 10. Ty Dillinger. Yeah, yeah not good. <laughs> good old Ty. Mark, 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 mark. <laughs> Shut up, AJ Penn. <laughs> That's courtesy cool of my good friend Ty Clifford. Kicks to the sternum. Oh, oh man. Stiff shots there by Lef Oh! Huge running knee, almost a boot to the face as well by yeah. Lufisto. Kimber hanging on by the bottom rope. She looks almost out of it. She is dazed by that big flurry of offense by Lufisto. And a big chop on the outside. And what's Uncle Steven? He's letting this go a little bit. He's not counting. You ah. go tell Lufisto to stop it. I'll tell Uncle, Fist, uh, Uncle Steven to tell her. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not going to tell her. No, I'll tell Uncle Steven to tell her. Lufisto's a very scary, scary oh, individual. Oh, she is. 
That's Stephen's job. That's why. <laughs> the veteran Lufisto there. Where, where's our referee in front? Oh! Ouch. Into the card. <laughs> See, she knows she blames the stupid ref. Ow. I don't think Kimberly was happy with that. No, one. not satisfied with that one. No. One more time. All right, here we go. Try it again. Nope, still not done. Still not happy. One more. Third time's a charm. Oh! That's She's taking that's a roll around ringside. One more side. One more side. Wait, she's having the fans help her. What is this? This is not legal. The fans are getting it. That should be a disqualification. Kimberly taking it to LaFisto with those fishes chopped, tied up against the guardrail. I mean, I like to say BCW is the fans' promotion, but that's a little ridiculous. You know, these two women not a part of tonight's tournament, and imagine if they had been. They definitely would have made it to the final four. Oh, yeah, definitely. One of these women would have had a strong chance of coming out as a champion. Kimberly, though, not looking like a champion right now after Lufisto was putting the hurt on her. Lufisto finally finding her feet under her. Now cover here. One, two, a kick out by Kimberly. Uncle Steve finally doing his job out there. You know, it's interesting, Kimberly, you say, you know, their loss, our game. Kimberly recently in the ring against another BCW star for another promotion here in New York. Kimberly went up against Darius Carter later in 2018 for Warriors of Wrestling. So nice. not, not too far away from, you know, BCW herself. No, not, not, not at all. But it's the first time in an actual BCW ring. Yes. BCW show. Very happy to. Uh -huh. She was one of the ones, as soon as I saw that NXT was stupid enough to release her, glad she finally made her way here. Sure, it's not going to be the last time we see Kimberly, but when you think about the star caliber of women, not only on the BCW roster that you're seeing here tonight, but the star caliber of women who have made their way to want to wrestle in BCW. Oh! That is like a runaway freight train. That was indeed right into the corner. 20 years of wrestling right in her face. Cover one, two, a kick out by Kimberly! That whiplash to her neck, I'm surprised she kicked out of that. You know, when AJ, the list goes up, we've had Santana Garrett here at BCW, Lufisto now in her second appearance, Kimberly, Mercedes, Mercedes Martinez. Yes. Martinez, Karen Q had been here at BCW. These women knowing that BCW is a place to be. And if I tell you, the list of women who were contacting BCW to be a part of this tournament, the names on that list, yes. tremendous. Oh! But I'm loving the caliber of our, our roster members that are here. The yes. girls making her de de their debuts here tonight. Tell me XO strong showing from her. Brandy Lauren. Uh, so Davian, many, a great showing Davian, from her. Like, wow, that match. I think we might have to institute a Queen of the Monsters after seeing that match. That, that. And this match as well. Can, yeah, any of these two girls can. You got two monsters in the ring right now. There is definitely an outlet for a Queen of the Monsters. Lufisto losing the classic. Larry Moment Curly. Yes, I mean, it is effective. <laughs> hey, Roddy Piper used to use it a lot. He sure did. God rest his soul. Yes. You know, just you bring up the hot rod Roddy Piper. Imagine the way that Darius Cutter runs his mouth. Oh, Imagine Piper. Darius on Piper's pit. Oh, wow. That would need like a whole hour between Darius and Roddy Piper. Nonsense. How long before Roddy punches him? Two minutes. I'd give it about five. A five? I'd give it a big, yeah, because Piper would, Piper would shut him up after Darius ran his mouth for too long, and then he'd pop him. Oh, Kimber! Look at that, ball the of fire. The shot to the corner. Oh, beautiful kick to the head. Kick to the side of the head and another one. A third there. Wait, wait, oh, why, is she going to try it? Can she get it? Wait, no. Going for the German, not happening there. Oh! The oh, fist oh. dropped on her damn neck! Oh. oh my god, that just angered Kim. And Kim with a suplex of her own. Oh, Gets Lufisto up and over. Oh. Hashtag, she's a wrestler. I thought we were going to do the battle of the suplexes. 
And These this, two women hitting heads there, knocking each other out. And this crowd appreciating everybody. It's, I'm great. This is great to see this crowd so into women's wrestling. I'm glad they were at this place in 2019. Where, you know, they're not an attraction, these women. These women are professional wrestlers. The whole they're damn not, show here tonight. Yeah, they're not divas. They're not a special attraction match. It's true. <laughs> yeah, Darius is the attraction, if you want to call him that. He's more of a nuisance, but... Yeah, we'll see how much of a nuisance he is against his opponent later tonight, Sue Young. I've been a fan of Sue Young for years. I love her I tonight. Love after her. seeing that, after seeing her she, interrupt the injury, Darius. Everything, she, everything. She is amazing, Sue Young. I can't wait to... Not, oh, wow, it's oh, been kicked by right. camera one, two, can I be... No! Wow, that was such a, that, wow, even Uncle Steven, that was very close, almost a three. Two and seven eights. They used to have a lot of energy left in them. Not even a, this is not even a tournament match. This is how much respect these girls have for their, 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 uh, their craft. Oh, wow, pop a power bomb too. No! This is how bad they want to make a, uh, oh, wow. Good move by uh, well, Lufisto. Oh! Yeah, Lufisto and Kimberly, they definitely want to show Anthony Cole. They want to. Oh my God! Package DDT! Lufisto one. cover one, two! And, no! Wow. That was only two! Wow! I thought that was three. I thought this was it. I thought that was a three count. Wow. This crowd, a huge show of respect for these two women. They deserve it right now. Another way slot. Oh my God, Brick! Right on, on that cover. Two, two, two. Wow. Got kicked out by Lofesto. Oh my God. We said these two women were going to go to war and they have not disappointed here tonight. Not at all. Wow, Kimberly just deadlifted Lofesto. Now what is she gonna go for here? Kimber going to the second turn, Buckle on the inside. Kimber up, no, no to the top. Oh, no. oh, Jesus. Right on the neck, the back of the head. Lufisto she tried to reverse Samoan driver. Cover one, one two, two, and up. And that's in a while. Wow. That's wow. Give it up. hammer failure. There you go. The wounded owl. for a minute you have expert experience inside that ring you have been a diamonds champion two times over going up and down the road with everything that you have seen in the sport of professional wrestling how impressive is it for a 17 year old to have accomplished so far what Roxy has. I think it's very impressive. It goes to show how passionate she is. She started doing this when she was 13 13 barely in middle school I don't really know any 13 year olds that have started doing this at that age. It's just, she's willing and ready to do whatever just to prove that she should be our next diamond. Roll up champion. here early on, trying to get it done. Kick out of two and Brad Gilmore, AQA, is the youngest diamonds champ in history. Hold on a second here. Nice bridge, reversal again, one, two, and a kick out. The youngest diamonds champion taking on the youngest competitor perhaps we've ever seen here at the World Gym Arena. High stakes. Oh, absolutely, Matt Tapolsky. You got to think about this. Uh, for AQA not to get that automatic rematch at the Diamonds Championship, for her having to earn it, she might be a little bit perturbed by that. She might be a little bit annoyed that she lost her championship without having the champion's advantage in a six-way match. So tonight, she's going to come out here and probably be a little bit more aggressive. See, look, we're seeing it right now. She's talking a little smack. She's going to be more aggressive than she was prior. Oh! Roxy had that one scouted, though. Oh. 
these two have trained together. In some respects, Roxy has looked up to AQA, and they are testing each other early here. But has AQA taught Roxy everything she knows? I doubt it. Twirling arm drag reversal there. Roxy over the top yet again. Oh my goodness! And a shot to the back of the dome that welcomes Roxy to the big time. One, Cover here too. Two. Oh man. She might have knocked Roxy back to grade school on that one. And you know, when Roxy made her ladies' night out debut, the bars in the valley were filled. Watching the live stream here at Title Match Network, you gotta believe it's happening again here tonight. Just a week ago, she competed at Summer of Champions. Many members of her family were right here in the front row. She did not win that Diamonds title, but a win here tonight oh, gives her the man. number one contender spot. And AQA is trying to put a stop to that. Cover here, too, and a kick out. She's trying to make sure she didn't become the 18-year-old sensation. That was a hell of a back elbow right to the chin of Rock C. See, I was expecting this to be a friendly competition, but you know at some point, especially being in this situation for number one contender, somebody's going to have to end up being more aggressive. Right now, it's looking like AQA. Absolutely. I think that, like I said before, Matt, I mean, AQA, she's upset. I mean, I, and I understand why. To defend your championship on the biggest stage in a match such as that where it's designed, it's essentially for you to lose. And also I would say that perhaps she she feels a little insulted. I mean, no, no, no disrespect to Roxy, what she's accomplished so far is impressive, but she's gotta be thinking, oh, oh, look at that. why do I have to wrestle someone that hasn't graduated high school yet to get my number one contender spot? Two, kick out. AQA bringing a little bit more heat than usual here tonight. Have y'all ever seen this side of AQA? No, I I've haven't. I've never seen no. it. She's, she's turning into another, she's kicking it up to another gear right now. Some big shoulders in the corner. But it would be something when, oh, Roxy goes to pose for senior photos to have the Reality Wrestling Diamonds Championship in her arms. Oh! That or she could have a giant black eye and a fat lip. Cover here, one, two. Roxy breaks up the pin. And the match continues. You are looking live at the World Gym Arena in Houston, Texas. This is Ladies Night Out 7, exclusively on Title Match Network. Kiara Hogan is in action here tonight against Aja Perez. Thunder Rosa takes on the queen of House Rose, Rachel Rose, Harlow O'Hara, and Faye Jackson are in action. Ivelisse and Diamante in our main event and so much more. Don't go anywhere. What a night. And now Roxy trying to come back right now after AQA has been pretty much dominating this entire match, Ivory. Well, that's the thing. We have not seen AQA physically impose her will on an opponent before. She has done oh. that in the majority of this match right now. And this is a moment where Roxy really could grow up right before our eyes. What is going on here? And oh, wow. Aggressive Russian leg sweep rolls through. One, two. Oh, wow. my. Now that is a near fall. But AQA narrowly escapes, and the match continues. What's going on through your mind, Ivory, whenever you are in a match and you're being dominated? You can tell you're taking on a lot of offense. How do you get back into the game? You got to fight for survival. That's what it is, you know, especially with this kind of situation that's going on. Like, AQA, that's why you've never seen her do things that she's doing right now because she knows that she has to win this match to get a chance at her title again. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought she was gonna go with a innovative pin attempt there. Oh, and a wow. knee mat. That knee, top drawer, lands right on the jaw. That's gotta Damn. be all. Wow. Astonishing that AQA could kick out. She does. But Roxy putting on her best effort here at Ellen 07. I think that goes without saying. And she's going to need it if she wants to beat a former Diamonds Division champion and do it at the age of 17 with roughly a year of experience under her belt. Sit out here from AQA to become the number one contender. No. Uh, 
AQA going up, trying to figure out, getting up rather, trying to figure out what does she have to do next to put out the 17-year-old sensation. Oh man, that might be one of them. Well again, that's not something that we're used to seeing from AQA, but she's gonna do whatever it takes at this point and hopes that Wait there won't minute. be enough collateral damage that they can shake Wait, hands and hug each other goes. after this. She's gonna go for that shooting star press, Matt. It's a shooting star go. press that won her the Diamond Division title. Oh, when she faced the Renaissance woman high on. Roxy had it scouted, now what she's going for. Looking for some sort of suplex or DDT, but Roxy counters, Matt. Oh! That Lance could be her all. face first out of that suplex position, cover two! Roxy! Ah. Roxy shocks the world! Wow. Incredible, Matt. Roxy with a big win. She's now the number one contender at 17 years of age.
circumstance here and that's smart Dave absolutely no sunset whoa Dave. that's a fast count Angelina's got to get involved here one two another two count Woo. you know not a not a lot of people know just how talented Scarlett Bordeaux is in the ring I mean she's on impact wrestling every week you can see her on pop TV and you can see her as more or less somebody looking for some talent uh -huh. But she's not competed in the ring. Oh, so we're not very aware about her in-ring ability. But we do know about the alien Chris Statlander. One of the, oh, oh my goodness, up and go. Oh, boy. That's how you get pink eye, folks. Dave, we I talked about it earlier. Chris Statlander, we are no stranger, facing some of the top female talents here in WrestlePro. Uh, a lot of interesting maneuvers here by Scarlett Bordeaux. Scarlett in control of the alien Chris Statlander. Chris, obviously, graduate of the Creative Pro New York School mm -hmm. Academy, as are you. Yes. She's trained by the best. Like so I said, expect no her to put up a good fight. Well, uh, behind the smoke show here. But you know what I noticed? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 look at whoa. this. Look at this right in front of us. Where the heck, how, the, how fast did she get up Whoa! Here? It's like a teleportation of some sort. Dave, I think she teleported. I think so too. That's very, that's a record time. For but hey, if you can teleport, you gotta use it in a match. Absolutely. Why not? One thing that I was gonna note, and as we're seeing right now, oh, pins are interesting, twisting leg drop there. One thing I wanted to note, Dave, is the size advantage that Statlander has. As far as strength and ability, yes. She's the bruiser. In she match. is the bruiser. Oh. In We've right seen wow. We've seen a lot from Chris Statlander over this past year. She is on fire when it comes to being on. Oh, oh my God! The biggest and the best of WrestlePro shows, including our debut right now tonight. As you're watching on Fight TV, Dave Sturgeo, along with the smartest man in professional wrestling, Smart Mark Sterling. That's right, Dave. Do you think? Look at her just working on the face. Do you think that she's doing that for a reason, Dave? I, I mean, think look. So. Uh, honestly, to be completely honest with you. If Scarlett loses her face, boy, oh boy, is she in for a world of hurt. And that is her moneymaker, and I mean that in the kindest regard. Well, Dave, she 
obviously showing that she could wrestle here, but oh, look at Tech. this. Taking care of All Stadlander the way down here. to the basement. He's taking the alien now. And can she finish this off? Oh, oh she right. does. Top rope buckle. Those aren't forgiving. So now, a fisherman, maybe a hook. Wow, hook yep. in the arm. Oh, wow. Into a pinning combination. Two. Wow, kick out. Oh. Just short, just short, just a two. Two count, To Dave. special referee Angelina Love. She got it up. Just in time, and we still have a match here. Chin break. Oh! Short arm clothesline. Dave, Dave, I said it. That's the size and the strength of Absolutely. Size, strength. She's just able to pull her right into a clothesline and took her head off. Chris Statlander, no stranger to big matches into the corner now is, oh, the smoke show is in the corner in a bad way. Oh, another corner. Now she's trying to channel whatever what? planet she's from. Oh, oh, catches a back elbow right to the grill. That rock there catches it. Oh, I've no. seen her do this before. Oh, it's God. electric chair move that she loves. Oh, no. If she can hit it. Oh, my God. Oh. On the face again, Dave. Chris Statlander on fire. Oh, my. You better check on the smoke show. Oh, just a kick out. Two Folks, how do you kick out of that? Go Twice, forward. nonetheless. I think she took a little too long before she pinned her, but. Oh. It's a one. She can keep her composure here. That aggressiveness. Wait a minute. You know, look at this. It's going to pay off. Whoa. Look at this. Wait a minute. Oh. Good Lord. I think there's more to the smoke show here. Like you were saying, competitor that uh, people don't really know that much about, but we're seeing it here tonight. Taking a beating, giving it back, but still, Statlander in firm control. You know, Dave, we've seen Chris uh, sort of blow up on the East Coast here as a late. Uh, Fight TV, no strangers to uh, Chris this is, Statlander. This is a great, great stage for Chris to score a big victory here tonight, but we'll find out. Oh, oh! German landed right on the back shoulder blade. That might have knocked it out of the socket. And you could tell she's feeling the effects right away. Oh, man. Both of them down here. Referee Angelina Love up to three already. I, I'm pretty sure Statlander looks like she's got a plan. I can see it in her face. An alien plan. Oh, no. Oh, big clothesline there and another one. The smoke show on fire. No pun. Not today. Oh, no. Not the, oh, the oh. pun again. Oh! Ah. Into the turn buckle. Again! Oh, Jesus! The whiplash effect. Scarlet Bordeaux is showing us something here tonight. In her debut here at WrestlePro. That's it. Come on, Chris. Whoa! Oh. Scarlett wasted too much time calling for a maneuver there. Statlander took advantage. Oh! Great kick. And oh, another kiss. one. In the face. And now up and down. That's got to be it. Oh! How is it not? How is it not? Those kicks put people away. Now, wait a minute. What you said before. Look at this. Now, what's going on here? Whoa, wait a minute. Heads up. What, why is the ref getting in her face? The ref Dave. is not. Mark, come on. The ref Dave, is not in her face. Clearly. Oh, no, wait a you minute. Can't put your hands on her. This is an abuse of power. Oh, wait a minute. That's come right. on. Yep, she doesn't. That's. Oh! The, wait a minute. You can't, Dave, you can't do that. The opening is there. What the? What is this now? Oh, no. Oh, God. Dave, you gotta be kidding me. Oh! I don't even want to ring the bell. Here is your winner, the Smoke Show, Scarlett Bordeaux. Come on, what, Dave?
streaming now. It's Raja.com's debut show, We Are One, exclusively on TitleMatchNetwork.com.
Back in movement, come on. Come on, girl.
and he takes on any social. Well, WSU does have the most talented women in all the area. Any social, another one who's grown so much in WSU from where we saw, first saw her two years ago. And the ring bell very faint. I guess we can't hear it. I think that's what any social is waiting for. We're just gonna start. I think. Might as well just go at it, ladies. I just think the bell ringer is probably getting drunk. Amber stating that uh, down south they uh, have bells and we don't have any here, but we do. I think the only thing they have down south is cowbells there, Tommy Wong. It's very true also. And there you go, avoiding a lockup is Amber. What's Amber really doing? It's a little bit. I'm trying to play some mind games with Annie. I think our fans like to play other games with Annie. Oh, I'm sure they would. Take, take in her back up right away early. It's the Amber O'Neill just stomping away over here. Oh, stomping away in the midsection there. This could be a mistake by Amber O'Neill. Oh, letting her back up. Victim kick to the back of Annie. That's going to definitely leave a mark later. See, if I was Amber O'Neill, I think I'd want to keep Annie social grounded. More okay, kicks. Okay. Really working on that midsection. Ooh, a chop, chop the ball. Working that midsection over, really. Hey, Amber O'Neill, like we saw, applying a pretty good attack right there. They have both sides of the body. Well, Annie with her own shot on the midsection of uh, Amber. And look at Amber powering backwards. Like they're trying to break each other's ribs. Uh. That's so fan in the front row there. Uh, he got a he got, uh, little help right there. I guess you would call that a mini lap dance. I, you know? Something like that, I don't think you need Viagra. Well, now Amber on the outside, uh, taking a sweet time getting back in the ring. And Annie trying to go at Amber, and uh, Amber's playing mind games here with Annie. You know, as you can tell, Annie's getting upset. And one thing you notice here right now is Annie's spending a lot of energy attacking Amber while Amber's just ducking the air. A chop to the back of Amber. You know, Annie pulling pulling uh, Amber in by her hair. Well, I don't think the referee's going to call that. Nice suplex there by Annie Social. And the victim kick of her own to the back of Amber. Turn the favor, turn to send it. Snapmare, courtesy of what? Dropkick. And then this good move there by Annie Social. Look at those legs. Got to keep it down. The two count on that. What is he? He's going to stop. Uh, midsection. Yeah, stop uh, a baby hole. Crotch area. Uh, nothing. Amber uh, reverses it. And is now choking Annie. She's got up to five to stop choking her. You know, she's taking full advantage of that. Very smart. Very uh, ring veteran right here, uh, Amber O'Neill. Knowing what she can do in the ring, knowing her limitations. The referee's going to give her. Another suplex. She's going for the cover. One, two. Annie kicks out. You got to figure the winner of this match will shoot up the WSU World Title rankings. Get a shot maybe one day against Mercedes Martinez. Well, I could definitely see one of these two ladies uh, definitely competing for the WSU uh, Championship. And uh, both of them will definitely give Mercedes a run for her money. You hear the crowd trying to get behind Annie Social over here. And look at that. Just break a little cheap kick there. And now choking Annie in the corner. As you alluded to before, you said there's a lot of mind games going on. It seems that Annie is just trying to get her into Annie's head. And basically just shattering Annie's confidence a little bit. But I, I look at Annie just fighting back yeah. right here. I, I think Chop. we feel a little higher. Oh, nice forearm shot to the face. And knocks her on her butt. Knocks her on her back. Well. I don't think he's pinned Annie like nice that. Now on that back, huh? now working the arm. Got a lot of submission. It's just bending. And that doesn't look too comfortable. It definitely looks like she's trying to snap Annie's arm right off. At least dislocate that open. She's going to have her arm. That's what a lot of her offense. That's what Amber Neal's trying to do over here. Well, it's some like butterfly submission over here. And Annie's definitely in a lot of pain. Man. Hopefully she can hold on. I don't think you've ever seen Brock Lesnar use this on the UFC, have you? Uh, definitely not. 
Maybe it's something he should incorporate into his arsenal. Yeah, maybe you have to start biting off Amber O'Neill matches. Look how comfortable it is that Amber O'Neill looks, you know, just sitting right on top of Andy Social. Uh, Marshall. Uh, you know, split. Trying to get to Am Andy's head in the corner, you know? Look, just not rubbing her face. Not going to get her tapped out by rubbing her face in the match. She's just trying to insult her and degrade her. Four count. Amber's playing a very smart game here. Just wearing Andy out any way she can. Now stomping on her back and bowing to a camel clutch. She's measuring her very well here. She's wrestling a very smart match. She's not making any mistakes. And she's just letting the match come to her while Andy's being very aggressive. And Amber is taking advantage of Andy's over aggressiveness. Well, hopefully Andy can come out of this. We get her composure and try and uh, take back offense on Amber. But right now, Amber's in control. And an elbow to the back. Andy's just needs to fight back in this match. Just start the, the, I mean, basically yeah. what Amber's doing is, you know, she was kicking her in the stomachs, you know. Now she's working her back. Now she's choking her. She's just trying to wear her out. Basically, if she can hardly breathe, getting kicked and stomped in the back, in the front, there's going to be problems for Andy Social. Andy's hurting from all sides right now. Just trying to take the air out of her. And Amber is just basically rubbing in the fans' faces right now. And as, a, as my good friend, Mr. Miyagi, once said, if you cannot breathe, you can't fight. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I know Mr. Miyagi was a personal friend of mine, did you? Now Amber O'Neill is kicking in the leg. Did you guys call the National Spelling Bee together once? Probably. And it looks like the National take a, First she took apart the left arm, now she's taking apart the left leg. It's really taking away one half of Annie's body over here. And Annie fighting back, kicks her of her own. Ooh. Another kick to the midsection. I don't know how you're not win. You need an oxygen tank after oh, that. Or Annie kicked first. in the stomach. You ever been kicked in the stomach before? Plenty of times, and it'll definitely not be winning. I'm not going to your boyfriend or something like that, but. Mr. Gentry, let's not start that. I forget, I'm not with Hanson tonight. Hanson can do whatever he wants with his, that's his own personal business. We'll see him later on tonight with the wedding shower. Him and Riccataldo is Amber O'Neill with a weird submission hunter here. Well, Andy, uh, it's like a modified sharpshooter, but she's stretching the neck and the head as she holds him. This is a, we don't see this, I don't know what she calls this here, uh, Mr. Wong. Well, I'm sure uh, we'll speak to her later and try and find out what she calls it. This is a very now, interesting uh, submission move right here. Andy's body is twisted and contorted in every angle possible. When she gets the rope, and uh, ref calling for the break. We've seen a really good match right here. And now Amber picking up Andy. What's she going to do with her now? I think right now, would not lose, Amber O'Neill is a great impression in her first match right now, too. Well, she's definitely impressed me. What's going on here? What? Jimmy, what? See, what? you're not. Wow. Wow. What do you call this, Jimmy? What? A lot of fans have to pay for that to happen on, on Saturday night. And he's also gets her here for free. I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what, what to say about that. Well, Shade the Rikishi, I, I You're guess. not going to beat somebody by shoving your ass in the face. What you're trying to do is get into the head some more. You're degrading them right there. And if you don't wipe, it's really disgusting. And Annie with the clothesline now on Amber. The body slam. And Annie's also starting to fight back here. Kicked now Annie kicked to the legs. Into the other leg. To the back. Ooh. What's Andy going for? And Andy starting to stretch out Amber O'Neill. No. Camel clutch for uh, Andy Social She's now. Break her back, make a humble, fuck her ass, do everything to her right now. Whatever she wants to do. I said to her. Trying to get Amber to submit. Shades and former world champion, the Iron Sheep. And not throwing stiff forearms across the face of Amber O'Neill. Look at this. You see Amber O'Neill is keeping her legs bent. She's not down flat all the way. She's trying to relieve some of the pressure right here. She has a hold of the ropes. Another kick to the stomach. It's the area that Amber O'Neill's been working on most of the match. What we got here? Suzanne. Next Face back. buster. That's a close three count there, Jimmy. I think Aaron O'Neill might almost be done over here. I think Aaron Social's one big move away from ending this match. Hip toss. 
by the same token, Amber O'Neill could be one big move away from winning this match. And Amber going for a backslide on Annie. One, Wait, what's this? Right. One, two, three. Wow! We just saw a backslide with the bridge. What a unique move. Introducing the challenger from the house of the
Come on, sit.
Forest Park, Illinois, this is Daisy Hayes. Hey, Prezak, did you see me with my wallet up in the air? Did you come over? No, I did not see that, but... I would, I would suggest not spending too much money on, on women, Eddie Kingston. They'll take it from you really quick. Yes, they will. I've had expect. Okay, back to the match. I hear you have quite a reputation at strip clubs, too. Yeah. Hey, hey. I hey. won't go there. Okay. Wait, Zach, don't touch No, I just did. So. Now, what's the deal with this? Well, uh, Mickey Knox is the referee. Mickey Knox is the ref. She, uh, Does she have beef not only, her? no, I mean, not only is she employed by the IWA Mid-South as a wrestler in the women's division, but she is also an official on shows that she does not necessarily wrestle on. She wasn't scheduled to compete tonight, so therefore she also serves in a refereeing capacity and will be in charge of the action here between two women that you got to think that she knows she's going to have to step in the ring with once again at some point in the future. Yeah, but didn't she have beef with Lacey, though? That's what I'm trying to say. Because uh, didn't she wrestle against Lacey and Rain? Yeah, yeah they have like a little. It was Lacey on? and Rain taking on Mickey Knuckles and Daisy Hayes in a tag team contest back at the Styling and Profiling event during the month of December here in Highland. Coming yeah. up, the winner of that match was Daisy Hayes and Mickey. It was Daisy scoring the pinfall victory on Lacey so, in that matchup. So now it's one-on-one -on -one competition, not a tag team setup. The question is, will the same be true here tonight, or will Lacey be able to get the victory? But will she Mickey is a veteran. Be she does have the experience advantage over Daisy Hayes. Nice pin. But the thing is, don't you think Mickey will kind of favor Daisy? This ain't really fair. Well, I mean, she, as an official, she has to call it right down the middle. And I trust that Mickey Knuckles is an that unbiased called, referee. By the way. No, she's an unbiased referee. Yeah, I don't know. She, I mean, not only has Mickey been tag team partners with Daisy Hayes in the past, but they've also wrestled each other on several occasions here in the IWA. Well, it's probably friendly competition, it's unlike friendly with Lacey. Well, you never know. But that does throw a little uh, nice go that, that strange aspect into the matchup that the referee is someone that they're going to be point big slap across the floor for Daisy Hayes. strong. It was Rain that brought Lacey back to the IWA as her mystery tag team partner in December. Hello. Basically, due to the Drop fact kick. that Rain and Lacey were pissed off, that Daisy Whoa. Hayes and Mickey Knuckles were getting all the press and making all the progress in the women's competition here in IWA, and they felt that they were taking their spot on the IWA roster. Well, bottom line is this, Lacey. Oh, man, Lacey, before, well, she's getting beat up now, but before, she slapped the spot out of Daisy Hayes. She does have a mean streak in her. So right now, it's I Daisy like Hayes sending Lacey into the buckle, Ooh. moves out of the way. Lacey now with the arm of Daisy Lucha, Hayes. Lucha roll drag, crack knows the name I don't. And tying her up down on the canvas now. Trying to wear her down, maybe look for a submission. Looks like she's trying to tear the shoulder out. Lacey made her IWA debut back in early 2002 in IWA Mid-South. So she's been around here. She's been around. Not like that, Price. Like, don't make me sound bad. <laughs> Well, she's working on the arm here. Yeah. Well, Daisy Hayes has only been in IWA Mid-South since the month of October of last year. But I've seen so, a lot of her matches, and she's real impressive. Yes, yeah, she's come up with some excellent victories. Took on the debuting Mischief in Lafayette. Oh! She got a brutal kick from Lacey right there. One more time! Do Women hit me. hard here in the IWA. It's not just a... Ooh. It's not just about wearing skimpy outfits and tearing each other's clothes off. Oh, it's all about it. athletic competition in the IWA women's division, trying to restore some respect to women's wrestling I, here in the United States. And I give IWA all the credit in the world for that, man. But Lacey, man, with the hard kicks. Also frequently competing here in the IWA Mid-South women's division. Besides the three in the ring right now, we've had ODB on cards. We've got Mischief making her return Whoa. on March the 6th. I had the hurt. As Daisy Hayes has Lacey in a pinning predicament. Oh, almost a victory right there. Oh, nice knee lift. Right to the midsection and a clubbing forearm across the back. Lacey getting back in control of the contest. I tell you, if it's Wrapping the weird. arm around the uh, ring ropes. I'm sorry about that, please. I get to interrupt you. But it's, uh, it looks kind of weird that uh, Lacey's here and Rain's not. That's true. see them together. 
I mean, yeah, you, when you think Lacey and Rain, you think they're either going to be wrestling each other or as of late that they're going to be partners and they're going to yes. be aligned with one another. But uh, this time it's one-on-one, -on -one, not a tag team format. You sure? There's no more surprises? There's no more. These are the only two female wrestlers I've seen in the sure Rain's not going to drop from the ceiling? I doubt it. Rain's I mean, you never know. You never know who's going to show up in a match. Holding onto the arm. She just ripped that out. Ooh. And working on that arm right now. Divorce court. I, I was upset. I like it. Hooks that leg. A Daisy Hayes staying in the match. Up. Old school Memphis saying like right there. Divorce court. I That's like right. that. That's right. She saw that she might have done some damage to the arm and the shoulder of Daisy Hayes. Went right after the Whoa, body part. She's and now wrenching now. on that arm. Wrenching on it. Big time right there. I like her strategy. Pick a body part. Very simple wrestling. You know what I mean? And go at it. Stay right. at it. Allison Danger took on Daisy Hayes last time here in Highland. Daisy came up the winner of that matchup. Yes, she did. Good matchup as well. As well, I Tracy Brooks slouch. recently uh, competing in the IWA. <laughs> She'll be making her return pretty soon. Sorry. Solid forearm shot from Daisy Hayes. Ooh, she pulled the, the arm again. Be Paso. And she hot shot. Hot shots. Daisy Hayes on the top rope. That was stunning. And the veteran in command hooks the leg. Nice. But way too close to the ropes, it looks like. Has her foot in the ropes. Well, Mickey, it looks so far, Mickey Nuts is doing a good job. Keeping yeah, she is square. playing fair. She's calling it down the middle, not really showing any favoritism what one way this? or the other. Full Nelson applied. No way. Ooh. Sit down, Full Nelson. Right, nice. And once again, tying her up. Right looking there. for a submission. That works on your neck and your shoulder. You know, so she's working. But Daisy everywhere. bridging back has Lacey's shoulders down to the canvas for an ear fall. Counter. Lands a shot. Ooh, another but Lacey ball. fires back. I tell you, I like Lacey's me streak. Nice another shot. forearm shot. Yeah, you need We've seen a very much more aggressive Lacey and Rain with their uh, change of attitude and disgruntled. Uh, demeanor is when it comes to the new women here in the IWA. And I don't blame them for that. Praise stealing that. their thunder. If were, you were they here first? Like, they were here first. So the bottom line is they should get the first of everything. Forearm shot from Lacey. Daisy Hayes staying on her feet, favoring that arm, which Lacey has picked apart for the duration of this contest. Ooh, but Daisy's fine with that. comes the forearm pad, if, if it's a pad. I'm not sure if it's a padding. Well, Looks underneath this? the attempt. Go for the implant DDT. Daisy Hayes counters it. In raindrop. DDT, the raindrop coming up maybe, that but she, she knows how to counter out of that one. Going for the implant DDT again. Daisy counters once again. Raindrop. raindrop. Rubbing it right in Lacey's face. Her own tag team partner's maneuver. Right, now where's Rain? Is she dropping from the ceiling now? I'm, I'm looking at the ceiling. I'm not seeing Maybe the smart mark no, guys know anything. Here. I don't no? see her. Both okay. women very worn down. Daisy Hayes digging down for a burst of energy. Get her second win. If she can score the pinfall on Lacey in consecutive matches against her in IWA competition, you got to think that that elevates Daisy Hayes on the IWA women's oh, division rankings. Without a doubt. Rankings. Without a doubt. Ooh. Free lands a forearm shot. Ooh. She's still on her feet, dishes it right back out oh, just as hard. I like it. And like again, it. a solid shot from Daisy Hayes. Lacey holding her own. Ooh. Back and forth they Ooh. go. Off the ropes comes Daisy Hayes. Whoa! Shot finally takes her down. Masawa style. Off the ropes, Daisy comes. Ooh. Drops the leg. Goes down. for the cover. One, two. Lacey kicks out. That was close, brother. That was close. Daisy Hayes putting up a strong fight, and Lacey not holding back one bit. She has, she has something to prove here tonight. That she is oh. open and slap right to the chest. And that hurts them more than it hurts us. <laughs> oh. And again. Jesus, sweet Mary and Joseph. Oh. Laying it in here in Highland, Daisy. women's division style. Be easy, Daisy, don't hurt Comes her. charging. This time, Lacey ducks out of harm's way, lands a forearm shot, oh pulls She's Daisy out of the corner. Implant, no. Nope. Reversal. He's what got her up on her shoulders, maybe looking for a TKO. No. Into a neck breaker. I believe that's called the Hawaiian 5-0. Hawaiian 5-0, Hawaiian I'll find. It's called two and three quarters that he can't. I'm sorry, Brazak. Can't you know, put her he away. Homework. Ty Okea does that. All right, Ty Okea does that. Do you know Ty Okea Getting Lacey is? getting in the face of Mickey. This ain't cool. Getting in the face Mickey of Mickey, better. she can't put her hands on her. She's an official here tonight. Yeah, Mickey can't touch her either. Let's keep it real right now. Let's keep it both ways. Yeah, you, you got to think about that, too. As frustrated as she Ooh. might get, if she puts her hands on Mickey, that'll be a fine, Ooh. possibly a suspension here in the IWA. She is the official in this matchup. Daisy Hayes holds Whoa. Oh. 
Oh, Daisy Hayes going for the cover, following that maneuver. One, two. Ooh, that was Daisy close. getting that shoulder up. That was very close. Very close. Nice, hard maneuver by Daisy Hayes there. Lighten See her if up. she can follow up, hit something high impact right here. What is this? Maybe looking for the Daisy Cutter. Boot to the midsection by Lacey. Implant DDT. It's over. Implant DDT. One, two, and. Oh, Mickey counted it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Lacey. Gotta give a big up to Lacey. Hard fought victory there, Crazy. Hard fought victory for her in a hard fought matchup. Lots of competition for Daisy Moss. Hayes. Good showing for both of these women. Lacey, my wallet's still over here. Lacey! Lacey, my wallet! Lacey! All right, hey, brother, don't touch her. Get that freak's ass. Better back up before he gets smacked up. You know what I'm saying? How a smart mark. This is from Mission Pro Wrestling's debut show, Genesis, live from Buda, Texas. Be sure to follow Mission Pro Wrestling on all social media platforms, and don't forget to check out their debut show, Genesis, now on TitleMatchNetwork.com. This first match is special for You announced the Prince second. Announced that Okay. Turn. Well, you came in first. What the hell? Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. On my right, from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 120 pounds, Jenna Ellis. Oh, my God. 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 O
Rihanna from Janelin. And the Prince of Heaven, Richie Garcia, exits the ring. He seems a little upset about the offense that Jenna is showing. Jenna's very patient. <laughs> Waiting for Richie Garcia to get inside the ring. Let's see what Janani can she has. Oh my god. Nice kick to the stomach. Showing her karate skills. Nice bulldog from Jenna Lynn. Showing an amazing, outstanding offense. Wow. I'm impressed. Wow. Nice drop kick to the face. One, two. Oh, Richie kicks out. I guess Richie got enough of her game. Wow. I think she got whiplash from that. From that hair pull right there. She pushes the head, showing dominance. You know, because that's how the Prince of Hybrid shows dominance. Nice snap suplex from Richie Garcia. And the fans are going absolutely insane. He covers one. One. She kicks out a one. Oh, my God. These fans are absolutely out of control. It's the first match. And oh, that was a stiff, very stiff chop from Richie Garcia right there. How dare you, sir? He's trying to maneuver some other stuff. He goes for another one. The same, very stiff. Very, very stiff. What she reverses. Oh, she is fired up. Just as stiff as he was. She's going. Oh, she's going. Oh, she's going. One. One more. One more. One more. And another one. And the fans are with Jenna. Don't forget to subscribe to Title Match Network. We have over 700,000 followers now. And they are streaming our show on Title Match Network, Mission Pro Wrestling. Don't forget to subscribe. And Richie covers one more time. She kicks out two. And now he's pulling the hair and the face. Jenna is asking for help and everybody's with her and he cuts her off again oh man that he is vicious people don't really like him at all he part with jenna the whole entire time oh sidewalk slam and she gets slam on the mat, ladies and gentlemen. And one, two, and she kicks out again. Jana still alive. She is fighting. But Richie is not done with her. Oh no, 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 she is not done. And a fan from the outside is yelling that she su he sucks. Stalling suplex. People are counting. Beautiful, by the way. It's kind of weird to do commentary by yourself, but you know, it's okay. Oh, and she reverses it. Oh, and she got slapped in the face. She got slapped in the face, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like she owns him money. That's exactly what the fan said. No. Oh, spine buster. Her soul just left the earth. And she kicks out of two. And she kicks out of two. She keeps fighting. She has a fighting spirit. No matter what happens, she continues to have that fighting spirit. And he's he's just showing off 
how cool he is. Oh, Richie Garcia. Whoa! His spinning back kick. And he takes a nice, nice bump. Kick in the face. Showing her karate skills. And both are down. And the Renf is counting. Waiting to see who's going to go first. Let's see what Jenna has in store, baby. Oh, my God. Back elbow to Richie. Double knees to the chest. Oh, she jumps over. Little roll. Oh, my God. She is ready. She blocks the punch. Kick in the stomach. The chops are coming. Oh, double chop. Back fist. Another one. Her specialty, the double chop. Oh, my God. She's going Super Ninja right now. Whoa! Kick in the face! Flying kick! She has the ropes! Nice drop kick! One, two! Kick kicks out of two! She was so close! So close! Jenna still fighting! Everything, everything that she has in the tank, she is just bringing it! I know, I know Richie had something on his lead. He has a lot more experience. But Damn. she continues to fight. I mean, she has big fighting spirit. Oh, my God, look at little. Oh, nice DDT. And she covers one more time. One, two. Two and a half. That was three. That was three. That was two and a half. It was close. It was so close. People are with Jenna, ladies and gentlemen. They love Jenna Lynn. And now I'm going to probably ask a fan to give me a soda because I'm getting thirsty. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I think she's done. One, two, three. Oh, my God. And Richie Garcia takes it all. is from Mission Pro Wrestling's debut show, Genesis, live from Buda, Texas. Be sure to follow Mission Pro Wrestling on all social media platforms, and don't forget to check out their debut show, Genesis, now on TitleMatchNetwork.com. This is WrestlePro. Enjoy the entire WrestlePro library free for two weeks, only at TitleMatchNetwork.com. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more clips just like this. And they're off. Very interesting dynamic here. I mean, I was just going to say, she looks like she could play a little mind game here. Let's see if Deanna gets affected by this. Oh, to a reversal or a hammer lock there by Deanna. Nice. Oh, wow. The quickest way to do a reversal. Absolutely. Can't do nothing without a toe. There we go. Full on control here on the shoulder almost. Oh. Now the rest of the is really Yes, I, I definitely agree with you. We saw a lot of action last night in Crestkill, and now both. These uh, respective ladies were captains of their own teams last night. That's what the world wants to see. That's what I want to see. We better get in between them. The veteran instincts of power. You see how she's doing? She's keeping her in the corner. She's grabbing. She's pounding. Back it out. Get her out of the corner now. She's not giving her a break. That's what she has to do. Get her out. I said, let's go. Get her out that wall. Oh, using the bottom rope to her advantage here. And a beautiful, beautiful arm drag. 
Kiana in control here. Whoop. Oh, wow. Very, very nicely done. Ooh, huge buckle. Wow. Bad place. No! Oh. Did you see the way the back of her head ends? It's one, yeah, it's one thing to land on your back, but when your head does that whiplash effect, it hits that canvas. You could be on Dream Street for a long time. Working on the back, it seems, right now. Absolutely. Uh, she's just picking her apart at this point. That's what you got to do. Two count early. Look at that. Continuing to work on the back. Back on the back. That's a very veteran move of her. A very veteran move indeed, baby. She's not going to get her to play. But she's doing she's going to wear her down. A presser to that back. Crowd trying to get Deanna back in. Wait, 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 we got it. Whoa. Captain oh. Lee, always one step ahead. Right back on top. Oh, wow, here we go. Straight right hands mounting Deanna. Choke right in front of the ref. Oh, right back to the back. Wow, snap. What a snap on that suplex. A cover, a very arrogant cover there by Katarina. Right back to the, the, the back area with the, the knee just dug into it like that. Well, she's got her grounded. As you said, she's very quick on her feet, but if she can't be quick if she's not on her feet. It's a very clever assumption, David Structure. You know it. Good to see that you're paying attention. I'm on happening. the ball, baby. I'm on the ball. See, this is the opening the looking oh, for. straight four. Oh. Now they're exchanging here. Nah, it's three straight solid forearms. Oh, a club. Sends Katarina reeling here. Oh, down again. Firing up. Oh, swift kick to the gut. Oh, and a beautiful, beautiful. Russian legs. Destruction. I was getting there. Jesus. No. Oh, went for a running senton. No water in the pool. Nope. Looking for a neck breaker here. Wait a minute. Deanna spinning out of it beautifully. Oh my oh. God! Straight the boot to the face. The leg extension of that boot. A very long leg and a hard boot for Deanna to take right there. Come on then, everybody. See, Katarina seems like she's getting frustrated. She's playing, playing games with the crowd now almost. Oh, wait a minute. Shin breaker. And a northern light suit. That was beautiful. A beautiful bridge. These girls are putting on a wrestling clinic right now. Pulling out all the stops. Oh. They wouldn't even wait to their on their feet. It's battling from their knees here. Now both ladies attempting to get up. This could be a long night, Eddie. Oh. Cross body, the strength of Katarina Lee catches it. Caught her right in her tracks. Oh, wait a minute. Got her! There's the senton. That's that it. Enough. She knocked the wind out of Katarina Lee and she could not kick out. This is WrestlePro. Enjoy the entire WrestlePro library free for two weeks only at TitleMatchNetwork.com.
And don't forget to hit subscribe for more clips just like this. Live from Ford Park. The convention center here tonight with a great crowd ready for some independent professional wrestling action. The bell rings and this is underway. And what a great test for Heather Monroe as Alex Gracia has been raising eyebrows throughout the state of Texas. He said Heather Monroe has been seen frequently on Impact Wrestling. One half of the Killer Bays. Now the Killer Bay. Her resume speaks for itself. She has been all over the last three years. Really building a treasure trove of accomplishments, but she's looking for that big win to take the next step in her career, perhaps as a single star, and defeating one of the hottest young talents in women's professional wrestling, and Alex Gracia, could certainly be that check mark she's looking for. Monroe recently appeared on Bar Wrestling as well, the product of tonight's special guest general manager, Joey Ryan. Headlock over the top here, Heather Monroe trying to establish herself and her dominance early on in this matchup. Scissors reversal here. And over the top, some early chain wrestling here as these two just trying to establish each other. And Alex Gracia has shown us quite a bit. One thing that she hasn't shown a lot of for her young career is naivete, and you see that quite a bit from young professional athletes stepping into the ring for the first time. She is showing Heather Monroe the respect that she deserves in there. Rossi with that hammer lock from behind now. Monroe looking for the combination here to get out of this. And Houdini figured it out. One of Alex Gracia's trainers in her young career is Thunder Rosa as well. And we know Thunder Rosa is one of the most capable talents in women's professional wrestling today, in all of professional wrestling for that matter. Tumble set over the top there. Nice arm drag coming back from Heather Monroe. These two have each other very well scouted here early on. Was looking for a crucifix into a pin anyway. But a kick out at two. Both athletes retreating to their various corners here. Alex Gracia perhaps looking for a monkey flip there. Bicycle kick attempt over the top. Alex Gracia coming back. Cover here, one, two. Looked like she was looking for some head scissors over the top there. And just collapsed in midair. Heather Monroe still got the worst of it and Alex Gracia smartly tried to take advantage. Now she's going to that hammerlock from behind once again. Excellent pin attempt there, but only a one count. Rolls through again here. And again, only a one count. One, two. A single leg drop kick there from the Pink Dream, sending Heather Monroe to the outside, and she's asking for a timeout. Unfortunately for her, there are no timeouts in professional wrestling. And if I were a betting man, I would say Alex Grassi is about to remind her of that. Puts on the brakes. Still to come, Mercedes Martinez versus Thunder Rosa. We've got Hyon and Amber, excuse me, look out here. 
Ayanna and Amber Nova for the Sabotage Women's Championship. Priscilla Kelly will be here tonight taking on the 17-year-old Sensation Roxy and of course Miranda defending that Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Big Lariat sends the Pink Dream out. Heather Monroe trying to wrestle this matchup at her own pace. She is not going to be rushed at anything. A knife edge chop there that I think everyone in the front row will remember. And there's the receipt from the pink tree. Oh my goodness, old school rake of the eyes right there. Shades of George the Animal Steel. That'll date me. And you know, you talk about the pink dream and the year that she's had. This is a young lady that's coming off of a fresh tryout at the WWE Performance Center. We've seen what she's done at Booker T's Reality of Wrestling at Ladies Night Out on Title Match Network. Looking for a win here tonight, but right now she's on the receiving end of a beating. And now a pin attempt gets that shoulder up. Oh, Heather Monroe has a mean streak. Drives that boot in the back of the head of Alex Gracia. And this matchup is now becoming physically taxing for the Pink Dream. Hooks the leg again, that lateral press broken up. Alex Gracia powering out, but how much gas does she have left in the tank? That is the question. Oh my, look at that. Alex Gracia channeling her inner Neo from the Matrix there to get out of that one. One, two, kick out of two and a half. Heather Monroe trying to turn it into another gear here now. Cartwheel coming back with a splash in the corner. Head of steam here. The backside collides with the temple of the pink dream and she could be out. To win here tonight. Kick out at two. We thought Alex Gracia was out like a light. Underneath, Gracia coming back. Larry of her own. Alex Gracia, single leg drop kick again. A seesaw battle. Oh! Swinging boot to the side of the head. Talk about lights being out here. This has got to be all. No, Heather Monroe, muscle memory. It had to have been muscle memory as she kicks out but I don't think she knew she kicked out. Inside of her head as vacant as a blockbuster video there. This form and elbow strikes now from the Pink Dream. This is a new side of Alex Gracia that we're seeing here because she's having to turn it into another gear. She's having to take it to another place here if she's going to stick around with Heather Monroe. more bicycle kicks in this matchup than Cobra Kai. And both ladies are down. 
You are looking live at Queens of the Ring on Title Match Network. It's Heather Monroe and Alex Gracia doing their best impression of sleepaway camp right now as both of them have been put out. On the Hurricane Pro Faithful here at Ford Park, willing on both of these athletes. Both of these warriors. Oh, face first. Into the second turnbuckle goes Monroe. A modified version of a 619 coming back from the Pink Dream. And now she's climbing up to the penthouse level. Can she connect? And if she does, this has got to be the exclamation point on it. Crossbody one, two, no. Two and nine tenths. Both raising the bar for the talent yet to step through that curtain here tonight. Monroe blocks that waist lock from behind. Cuts back, that is a devastating trap suplex. Dropping the pink dream on the back of her head and neck. Count to 100, no! Alex Gracia kicks out again. A war of attrition here between Heather Monroe and Alex Gracia trying to steal the show at Queens of the Ring. Go through there for Gracia. Looking to lock in that submission there. Official's gonna have to work extra hard here tonight to separate these two. This really is a catch em fight. Oh, a shot right to the back of the head. And a super kick to the other side of the head. The Pink Dream being treated like a human pinball here right now. A sit out power slam that puts an end to it. Here is your winner, Heather Monroe.